I'm Jim Clark, President and CEO of LexArts, and I'm standing here at the Downtown Art Center Gallery where we have 16 eco-art finalists that have presented their works for our consideration for the 2014 eco-art grants. Um, for the past four years, LexArts has been pleased to work with the Department of Environmental Quality and Public Works to uh, reach out to artists to get them to create eco-art projects in the community to educate the public about environmental concerns um, like recycling and water um, issues. So this is a unique partnership. We're, we're actually working with the city um, in a very specific way of introducing art into some very fundamental issues that affect everybody in Fayette County. So for 2014, uh, we're doing things a little differently. We have increased the award amount for the artist because we're looking to create larger public art, permanent public art works. And what we've done this time is that we've uh, put out a call for artists asking those artists who have worked on environmental issues and in large format public artworks to submit their past work for us to review. Representatives of LexArts and the Department of Environmental Quality then sat down and narrowed the field from 108 submissions, nine of which were from Kentucky. Uh, we narrowed that down to 16 finalists that are on view here at the Downtown Art Center. Then we're asking the public to come look at the uh, past artworks of these artists and review their statements, because in the statements they're revealing their interest in environmental art and how they believe their art can better educate people about issues of sustainability and quality of life and um, water issues and, and other things that are really important to us here on the bluegrass. We're then asking the people that come look at those uh, qualifications to then rank their top five favorite artists. That information is then going to be used to help us decide which five artists to create proposals um, full-blown proposals that would be site-specific. Um, they will be, the artists will be paid to come here to Lexington if they don't live here already um, and tour the city with folks from LexArts and Environmental Quality to see where they could do something that would have the greatest impact in our community. In the long run, we're going to have a series of public artworks that really brand this city as a creative place and a place that is deeply interested in the environment and securing the future of the bluegrass. And this exhibit will be up through Friday, October 4th, so you have time to come down here to the Downtown Art Center where you can vote for your top five artists. Um, those artists that are in the top five will then be asked to create site-specific proposals. Those proposals will be on view here at the Downtown Art Center for the November 15th uh, gallery hop. Um, so people will be able to come and see what these artists have actually come up with. If you would like to make a difference in your community and participate in this really great public art project, please come down to the Downtown Art Center at 141 East Main Street, right across the street from the Public Library. Look at these artists' works and cast your vote for the top five. And through this program, I think LexArts and the Department of Environmental Quality are demonstrating that Lexington can be a great American city inspired by the arts. Thank you for your participation.